slash wolf.
All right, welcome to the Overwatch Xbox community. This is week two. Uh, this is a Friday Friday midday match, a little odd, but uh, one of the teams, Panthera Tigress, is EU, Dads and Lads, NA. So, you know, gotta gotta work it around. We've gotta make sure it works, fits everybody's schedule. Uh, this is gonna be an exciting game. Dads and Lads got a first week by, so excited to see what they bring to the table, what they're able to do for us. Uh, Panthera Tigress coming off a crispy win in week one, uh, starting off strong. I'll be your host today, Swift63, and joining me for the first time, new to the community, right? New to the steam, streaming, uh, the stream team, Sudovi. Uh, how you doing, man? How you feeling? Hey, everyone. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, glad to be here. Glad to come commentate on some spicy OXC action today. Uh, should be a really good match. Uh, Dad and the lads, an established team in the league. Hopefully they can come out strong on their first debut. And Panthera Tigress, a little bit newer, but still a strong team. Want to know start? Uh, should be cool to see both these teams come out in the action today. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. This week we do play... So in the Overwatch Xbox community, if you're new around here, first things first, go ahead and hit the follow button. Check out our Discord down below. We've got a website and Twitter. Uh, be sure you follow all of those things. You can keep track of us. But here in the Overwatch Xbox community, we play a best of three series. We always play all three maps. So even if uh, somebody wins the first two games, we do play the third map because at the end of the season, your overall win differential... Uh, ends up being your tiebreaker. So we're going to play all three games today. First map is Hollywood. We've got the uh, nifty background set up for you there. Second map is going to be Elios, and then we're going to close it out on Route 66. So going to get to see these teams really flex their, well, their ability to flex onto multiple characters because these maps all play very differently. Um, looks like we've got all the players in the lobby for us here. Sadovi, have you gotten the green light from the captains? We good to go, man? No, I haven't gotten a green light yet from either of them. Um, I'm going to shoot a message out now just to see if they're both ready to go. Okay, awesome. No problem. While we wait on that, I do want to take the moment to just shamelessly plug. If you're around later tonight, uh, from 8 to 9.30 Eastern Standard Time, we've got three matches kicking off in the Overwatch Xbox community. I'll be tweeting those out uh, probably a little bit later, so we have links to them. And then if you're in the Discord, you can check it out on the stream schedule to make sure you catch all the action. Um, those channels will be hosted on the primary OXC channel as well, so be sure to stop on by and check us out. Uh, something that's new for the stream this week, so we do have chat overlay, so we're looking for engagement. We'll want to see what you guys think of the match, so we'll definitely, Sadovi and I will both be kind of engaging you throughout as we go. Um, we're just double checking here with the captain, see if we can't get the green light. We'll get this thing underway. Bear with us just a second, guys. We'll be right back. All right. All right. Looks like we're good to go. We got the go ahead. So Sadovi, let's go ahead and load it up, brother. Take us to All right. Hollywood. Get started. So first map, first point. We're gonna go ahead and start off on Hollywood. Bit of a hybrid map. Uh, first look at attacking and defending here. Panthera Tiger is gonna start off on the attack. Dads and lads on the defense. Um, that is important because for uh, Ilios, it doesn't really matter. Control point maps are uh, <laughs> a little different. But when we get to Route 66, we're going we're gonna to swap that around. So Panthera will get the opportunity to defend first. And Dads and Lads will start off on the attack. Um, it's important to know we do that on every, uh, on every map. We swap attacks and defense. Because eh, you're, you know, you can let you know whether or not you can be aggressive, whether you need to be conservative. Plays up a little bit. So starting off here for the defense, we'll get a good look at what their roster looks like as they come out. Ooh, so I wonder if the way to park dive here. That's a yeah. I was about to say go. start off with the widow, uh, widow paired in with the dive. I don't hate it. Uh, it's really, it, I mean, it puts a lot of pressure on Chappie to make those shots. But you know, if he's going to click foreheads like that, then <laughs> I mean, it'll work. Yeah, by so, all means, let him let him go ahead. Um, it's kind of interesting though. Almost without knowing it, this is. Uh, dads and lads setting up with an almost counter dive right off the rips. So we're going to go left to left to right here for 
excuse me, I had that backwards, so it looks like Dads and Lads is on defense first. My apologies. I had those completely flip-flopped. Uh, so starting off on the defense from left to right, Monkey on the Reaper, Sarge is going to run, Brig for him, Flash Wolf running Reinhardt, Sophia on Zarya, Haseo running Anna, and then Nips on the Soldier. So pretty traditional 2-2-2, two, 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 but paired with the Ana Briggs. They've got the Nano. No defensive ult to really speak of for the defense. That might come back to bite them. For the attack, they're coming in. It'll be interesting to see if they can get... Yeah. Be interesting to see if they can get enough healing out with uh, the two healers they decided to run. Um, if one of them drops early, it's going to be tough for the other one to keep the whole team up and healed. Well, Ana's going to put just... Going to just go ahead and pocket, uh, pocket the Reinhardt pretty hard. We're going to start off here. The... Attacking team wastes absolutely no time pushing through, taking up space on the left side. Chappie trying to get that backdoor headshot on the supports. Uh, misses the grapple shot, but the rest of the team wasting no time, pushing right on to point. Brawl starts to break out. Bressy goes down. Genji's absolute in the back, yeah. And it looks like kills early. starting to go the Not way. Risky <laughs> oh my, how? Yeah, she does give her life for it, but Bressy's able to get out. So, uh, fair trade? We'll see. <laughs> Not a total team kill in the introductory <laughs> fight here. Still the poking phase. We'll see what they decide to come back with if they want to make any switches here. Yeah, and you see a couple of switches come out. So the whole comp swaps for the attack. Bressy over to Reinhardt. Uh, Jazby Gamer swaps onto Brig for them. Still have the Widow, but they're going to swap over from Dollhouse Pixie on the Moira. So they're running triple support. No, except we're getting goats now. Mm -hmm. Goats without the Roadhog, though. So they're going to swap out that swap the hog for a diva. I don't hate that idea. They're going to try and contest nips on the high ground here as they come back in. Um, and here they come with the full swap. Just start to brawl up. That's a massive anti-nade. Everyone's yeah. on their deathbed. Flash Wolf swinging away, and he's going to pick up three there. D Mech Chappy. Brigitte on Lucio yeah. there in that back room. Lucio trying for his dear life to get out of there. Yeah. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll go ahead and get out. Monkey being a little aggressive on the Reaper, but he's got Fade in his back pocket, so he can afford to do that. Shout out to Haseo. That's just an absolute insane anti nade to allow Sarge and Flash Wolf to just swing into the enemy back line. A uh, couple of ults to speak up for the defense. They've got Shatter, Nano. Uh, they're about to have... Whoop, yeah, <laughs> they're about to have Rally, and they're going to have Grav here in just a hot second. Monkey sitting up Reaper's top with the Death here. Blossom. Yep, there it is. There we go. Got in right behind him. Picks three. Man, that was well done. <laughs> yep. And they're going to clean that up right there. Bit of an overinvestment, though, I have to say. They invest Nano, Shatter, Visor, and Death Blossom. When I, I think they could have really gotten away with just Pop and Blossom, right? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know yeah. if you had a different angle. Did you well, see? He was in really good position. It yeah, I was watching the so the Reaper, sorry the Reaper come in from the top and drop down. He had really good positioning there to pull that off because no one from the no one from Panthera knew he was coming. But we'll have to see what they decide to respond here with now. Looks yep. like they used the Moira ult coming in. Yeah, Coalescence comes out for the attack, trying to keep everyone topped up. But the grab comes out from Sophia and just catches everybody inside of it um, and just shuts this down. Nips sets up camp on the high ground. This guy, I don't think he's moved from this little this little cafe up here. He's been there so long, I wouldn't be surprised to see a mailbox over on the side. Guy lives here now. <laughs> now here. This is his mailing address. Yeah, that said, coming back in here for the attack, Panthera Ty Tigris does have Shatter and Rally at their disposal, and they're about, only about 10% from sound barrier. You hear the rally comes out from Brig. They're going to try and use it to just top everybody off. Take some space here on the left side. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Shatter comes out from Bessie, but gets blocked by Flash. Uh, pin in, does catch Jazzy B. Lucio goes down as well, and you see two Epic Boys has the grab here in the back line. Come out with one pick on the Reaper. If they can hurry up and regroup they might be able to pull in here and get a quick 5v6 fight to go in it's a good point no no mercy res for the defense here so if they can regroup and uh push in they have sound barrier and grab so they can pair that well they don't necessarily have a clean combo but if you've got reinhardt and briggs swinging into the grab that's all you really need and here it comes nano comes out onto flash yeah and another clutch death blossom coming from monkey here Man. 
Yeah, it's almost like they, uh, on that last push, they had done such a good job on the two pushes prior of keeping track of where Monkey was. Every time he tried to get in on their supports, they bullied him away, but I don't know if it was, you know, the time ticking down or last-minute panics that they lost track of him and gave him the opening he needed for the for that blossom. I want to shout out Nips, though. He did pop Visor on the high ground, so that's that's tough when you've got both DPS ults popping off. There's not really a whole lot of, whole lot you can do there. So this is going to be a long hold here for Panthera Tigress. They're going to have to hold the f first tick for the entire time to come out of this with a draw. They can draw. We don't play a tiebreaker here again at the end of the season. The overall win differential is what we look for. So yeah, it's a very real possibility they tie here and split out. That's not a bad call. Uh, Sidovi, what do you think... What do you think they need to do here to shut this down? There's no Reaper coming in from Monkey, but he is going to play Sombra. And it's going to do a lot of the same things. Um, I think what they're running now, in theory, should be a good idea. Um, just run more Space Dragons, as we've seen a lot throughout Season 11. Space Dragons can fix all problems. Um, the Brigitte will be good to stop any divey type characters. So if she catches Sombra while she's not invisible, or Lucio while he's not on the wall, that's a quick stun and a little focus from two or more. They can pick those out. Um, I think right now the lineup they're running is a good idea to get the full hold here on point one. We'll have to see if they can run it the whole way through and run it with success. Yeah, 10 seconds left before we start out here. It looks like for the attack, they're going to they're gonna run Nips on the Widow. So interesting that we see both teams start out with Widow on the attack. Uh, the defense looks pretty traditional right now. you got Bressy on the Reinhardt, Jazzy B running Junkrat for him, two Epic Boys on Brig, Dollhouse Pixie on Moira, and then... Uh, Chappie and Inbred Sticks running Hanzo, Hanzo Zarya, respectively. The attack coming in with a bit of a hybrid dive with Nips on the Widow again. The difference here is Nips pushes the forward. Right back end. I was about to say, yeah, he pushes forward and takes up an aggressive position on top of these stairs. Uh, no damage being... No kills yet. Flash Wolf goes down to the Brig. Uh, another massive anti-nade on the back line. Looks like Sophia is going to get caught out here. Does get demeched, but makes it out with her life. And they just... Yeah. Chappie's going to clean that up with a double kill. Drops Nips before he can get out. Uh, and a solid hold here. I was I was worried there for a second. They were looking really conservative. They didn't seem like they were going to uh, be the aggressors. I would really like to see Panthera be more aggressive uh, in these attacks. That said, Jazzy B already 80% to... Uh, Riptire and Chappie sitting on dragons all ready. So look for dragons to come out in this next fight. Dragons come out. Hazari is only at 38%, so he should, in theory, be able to get another dragons for the Graviton for the Space Dragons combo. <laughs> yeah, Monkeys was just sitting in the back line on the Sombra forever. Oh, uh, so there goes the Junk Rat pick. Mm -hmm. So fight starting to come back in. Do Jazzy B does go down early in that fight. Uh, not able to get the Junkrat tire. Dragons comes out from Chappie. Gets two as he fires that thing across point. Uh, Coalescence is going to just keep everybody else topped off. Now. Yeah. Looks like we got we got to swap from Widow to Tracer for Nips. At this point, let's see that'll, how that will affect everything with the defense here. <laughs> Oh, Monkey sitting in the back line, uh, trying to be inconspicuous. He had EMP, and as he tried to move into a high ground position, steps on the Junkrat trap and gets uh, <laughs> just just deleted almost immediately. A um, couple things th to keep in mind here: that EMP is available, and Sophia's got Diva Bomb. So look for the look for the EMP bomb combo. You see, Monkey's in the back line here, and here it comes. Everybody EMP secures two. two. Uh, Primal Rage comes out in the house. And it looks like they're going to walk off a point. I think it's going to be game. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's a tough, that's a tough, ba tough corner to be backed into. Uh, only a couple of seconds, and <laughs> and you've got to uh, hold the entire thing. So. 
Not surprised. Uh, pretty impressed with how decisive Dad and the Lads looked. Uh, comes out strong. Took took their fights early, and uh, didn't let up with the aggression. Oh, they kept their.
all good. It's just the game's not there. I mean, we might not even we might not even have to worry about it. Maybe they can't find their other player. That <sighs> really sucks, though. <laughs> All right, looks like we finally got both teams good to go. Just checking to make sure everyone's uh, ready to load in here. Next map on the docket, Elios uh, plays very differently than, uh, <laughs> than, oh goodness, what map did we just play? Help me out here, Sadovi. 
We were just Hollywood. in Hollywood, right? <laughs> oh, man. Yep. That's been one of those days. So I'm excited to see how this goes down. I think there's some opportunity here for uh, Panthera to come back in a strong way. We uh, are wait just waiting on the go-ahead while we wait for the green light to go ahead and load us in. What are your what are your, your kind of thoughts? What are your takeaways, man? Well, from that first map, it, it, it may have been a 3-0, but it was a lot closer than um, the, the score will obviously show. Um, the defensive round, the Panthera Tigress held a lot of good. They held really well in the first couple of team fights. Um, if they just would have better watched the Diva Bomb or in the Sombra placement, they, they, could, they would have won. They could have had a really good chance to win that match win that match up for a draw for that first game. So it'll be interesting to see if they can take that momentum that they had initially and run it back here on the on the Ilios to start. Yeah. I'm excited. It's gonna be a good game. Looks like we've got the green light yep. from yep. Dads and the Lads. How are we looking from Panthera? And Panthera just got back to me too, so we are ready to start. Beautiful. <clears throat> so loading in here first, obviously we're not gonna swap sides because attack and defense is gonna be the same. Uh, control point map coming in here. It looks like we might be on Lighthouse first. Is that what we're looking at? Um, well, it's never a good tell. Ilios is always confusing with that. <laughs> <laughs> while we load in here, one thing that uh, I thought was kind of interesting is we didn't see uh, a Pharaoh run from either team on First Point Hollywood, and that's usually a pretty good map. We did see a lot of Widow, and at least this first point and then Ruins are, are both pretty good Widow maps, so wouldn't be surprised to see both teams run the Widow here. Uh, yeah, it looks like it is Lighthouse. <clears throat> so we're going to go and load it up. Panthera Tiger is probably going to start off with a bit of a Brawl comp. Looks like everybody's getting their lineup set right now. A few things that I don't expect to change. Monkey playing Reaper and Flash Wolf on that Reinhardt. The two of them were just absolutely devastating on the front line. Sarge VKL is going to swap over and play Lucio this time around. Sophia on the Zarya. Haseo running Brig for him instead of Ana and Nips on Tracer. For Panthera, they're going to start off Bressy playing Reinhardt for him. Fatboy on the Lucio. Two Epic Boys back on the Zarya. It was just... Absolutely insane with the laser last game. So excited to see that again. Dollhouse Pixie running Moira. Chappie playing D.Va for him this time around. And then Inbred Sticks on the Brig. So Brig on both sides, uh, but only a Lucio coming in for Dad and the Lads. So maybe tight on heals, uh, at least heal output for Dad and the Lads. But they're investing a lot in that swarm kind of pushing on to, pushing on to the other team as quickly as possible. So both teams starting out here. It looks like Dad and the Lads takes the high ground while Panthera Tigris pushes straight to point and takes up a position on top. Uh, damage starts to break out here. <laughs> Flash Wolf just swinging big, away just, in there. <laughs> that big brawl just on the point. Pick for each team. And he, wow, the hammer down right from the start of the game. Yeah, I mean, they're just pumping resources into keeping Flash alive, letting him just swing that hammer like a lunatic on point. A lot of, a lot of damage being traded around, but not a lot of kills early, and that let him just farm that up. Monkey already 90 plus percent to Death Blossom, and Sarge sitting on Sound Barrier here, and another 10, excuse me, 20 percent while Nips has Pulse Grenade. Uh, so definitely winning the ult economy war here. That said, they are about to have Rally from Inbred Sticks. So they should be able to use that to at least stabilize themselves on top of the point. Chappie trying to bully Nips away on the Tracer so he can't get those juicy backline targets. Um, and it looks like they're going to run triple support here. So triple support, triple tank for Panthera as they try to push back in here. Just getting regrouped, making sure they're all on the same page before they push back in. Bressy setting the line. That's Sees monkey, monkey on the... Up yeah. That Reaper. He's, he's searching for it. They know he's up there. Ooh. Oh, but, uh... Had to have been a fat finger, right? I don't know if he admitted to that. <laughs> yeah. He gets the kill on Fat Boy, always... and then, uh... <laughs> and that's it. It's always interesting to see, no matter what level of competition you're at in Overwatch, a Reaper teleporting above you is never a good sight. No one ever wants to see that, and you always try to well spot it out. Yeah, Panthera with a pick here. They're going to use Diva Bomb, try and engage onto point. Sound Barrier comes out from Fat Boy right as the anti-nade gets dropped. So tries to keep everybody topped up. That's a big grab. And a, oh. Graviton nips. Pulling it back. 
And just when everything oh, looked like it was going to go the way of Panthera, Nips, <laughs> Nips comes in with a pulse grenade on top of Grav to just close it out. 10% left on the clock. I don't think Panthera is going to have the wheels they need to get there. Trying to run it in. I believe they got it. Nope. Yeah. So. Next map is ruins. Yeah, coming into coming ruins, in. man. Like a savant over here, calling them out in advance. Not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so to see if they decide to run the widow. This is definitely the Ilios map that lends itself best to widow's particular yep. sensibility, so to speak. Ask and you shall receive. Right <laughs> as you're talking about widow, Nips and Chappie both slide over to the widow. You see Haseo running friendly widow. <laughs> gonna bust out the Ana for him here. So <clears throat> looks like they're gonna be able to kind of pair this with Sarge. So they got Ana Zen coming in for Dad and the lads, and then they're sitting on uh, Moira Lucio for. Panthera. Um, Bressy swapping off main tank and over to the Genji. So flexing a little bit of uh, muscle here, showing he can play multiple comps. Monkey, not wasting any time, goes right in on this back line. Gets repelled nicely, though. The whole team turns and just shuts that down. Uh, unfortunately, they do leave Chappie kind of out to dry there, and he does go down pretty quickly thereafter. Uh, nips on the high ground, just raining down shots. Yeah. Bressy does what he can, tries to get up there. Regroup. Yeah, tries to get up there and force Nips off the high ground, but uh, it's just not enough. The rest of the team turns around, defends their sniper, and uh, gets the double kill to just seal the deal on them. So, a bit of a widow duel going on here. Nips, Chappie, trading so shots. Early in this match, only at 17%. Just trying to go for a quick poke. Just feeling around, feeling each other out at this moment in time. An and rushing in, grab Zarya while bubbled. An aggressive pin from. Since I her up. Yeah, it's the right move though. I like the aggression. Uh, Trance comes out from Sarge and just completely repels Panthera. They they back off. Coalescence comes out for Panthera. They're gonna try and push in here. Flash Wolf with the nano boosted Shatter. Just, oof. Catches three in there. Inbred does what he can. Tries to tries to counter pin. Misses the pin and just gets kind of hung out to dry on that one. Yeah. So he does get the he does get the uh, the retreat charge and he does get out with his life. Sixty percent gone on the point, and you see you see monkeys just set up over here playing a bit of a kind of a wait and pounce play style here, just trying to get in on the back line, delete some high priority targets. That's a big concussion mine. Again, not able to grab anything. Absolutely massive from Bressy. Picked. Azaria. So sound barrier comes out, Ooh. <laughs> but it is too little, too late. Flash Wolf does go down to the to the rip tire. Uh, that's the kind of aggression I like to see. Uh, I want to say that whole thing was predicated on Bressy just shutting down the Death Blossom with a beautiful concussion mine. Get the pick early. Team recognizes it. Uh, inbred sticks, pins in recklessly, but that's what he needed to do. Monkey caught in a bad spot here. He, he's not going to get out with his life. Chappie makes him pay for it. 5v6 here. Now Chappie has picked the Widow earlier and now on the, on the, the Reaper there. Makes sense. Dad and the lad's going to back up and full regroup there. Earlier, though, on, on these control maps, it takes a lot of aggression just to come in and pull a point, especially when you're down 50 or more percent. You just need to come in aggressive and just hope for the best there, and that's what it seemed to work there for Pantera Tigris on that go. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know if he was hoping for the best. It's, it's calculated at that point, right? Their number, their primary damage dealer coming out from the the Reaper. I mean, Widow's still a still a threat. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> as, as Nips illustrates so clearly here, Flash Wolf is going to pin in. Inbred Sticks is going to try and counter pin here, but he's going to go ahead and pay for his life. And it looks like Dad and Lad's going to clean this up here. Yeah. Um. 
No, uh, what, what I meant there is recognizing that their win condition once they picked their primary DPS was just to uh, hard engage with the man advantage. I, I think that was the right call. So, Dad and the lads just, just taking over and commanding space on the point, not allowing any of the retakes to come back through once they force their way back onto point. Get down, Mr. President! <laughs> oh, man. Oof. <laughs> oh, impressive. So... I think we're I think we're seeing uh we're seeing a few things right now. The big thing is, that I've noticed is that it, it appears that Panthera is still kind of in the in the process of if we can't get go ahead and load that up see if we can't get both teams in the lobby ready to go double check make sure there's no subs coming out but um we do want to swap sides here so we're going to go ahead and uh take just a quick break we're going to make sure we have the uh the lineups <clears throat> switched over so that uh the same team's not attacking and defending on uh route 66 as we had on hollywood so give us just a quick second here to update the lobby and we'll be right back with you guys
All right, so we're back. It looks like we've gotten the green light from both captains. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and go ahead and load this up and get it started. Um, before we do that, I did want to say we do run the stream on a three-minute delay just to prevent any, you know, any stream sniping. Not saying that any of our guys would do that, but just making sure maintaining the integrity of the game, so to say. So uh, if you <laughs> if you're seeing your your comments not come up on screen for for a couple of minutes, that's why. But looks like we got the green light from both teams. So we're gonna go ahead and load up. Route 66, see if we can't close this thing out. Uh, Panthera Tigris already uh, down 2-0 on the week, but they're going to go ahead and see if they can't can't claw back here, get a little bit of redemption, take a, take a map from Dad and the lads. That said, Sudovi, just how do you feel about Route 66, man? It's one of my favorite maps, but what are your, what are your thoughts? How do you feel about it? It's a, it's a classic of Overwatch, and as far as the payload maps goes, it lends itself to be there are a lot of really weird wonky comps that can really work successfully on this map. Um, I've seen, and, and this on other games, people run Doomfist to very high degree on Route 66 for whatever reason. It's just it's a lot of weird map lineups can come out, so we'll have to see what each team decides they want to go with here. Yeah, Doom, Doom does work well because the map's got a lot of ver verticality, but it's... It's like weird verticality, right? Like uh, <laughs> top of the gas station, yeah. there's some pillars to play off of. Um, weird verticality. Um, there's a lot of tight spaces. You can just come in and you know fist you at. So <laughs> a lot of just a lot of weird. There's a lot of weird geography on this map for him to yeah. just come in and wreck havoc like he does. Yeah, <laughs> coming in like a missile with that rocket punch. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> that said, that said, doesn't look like either team's gonna run the doom. Um, understandable we haven't seen it up to now so uh, I don't know why they would bust it out here there are a couple places to set up for your defense looks like yeah it looks like Panthera is going to set up on top of the gas station it's pretty common this is where you see a lot of teams set up so left to right Bressy's going to run Arissa for him, two epic boys on the other tank running Roadhog supports Fatboy Fine playing Brig and then you've got Dollhouse Pixie on the Ana for him Chappie and Fury going to run Hanzo and Reaper, respectively. Now, for the attack, looks like they're going to run Pharmacy. Monkey on Pharaoh, Sarge in his pocket with the Mercy. And then the other support is going to be Haseo. Now, tanks, bit of a dive here. They got Flash on Winston this time around and Sophia on Diva with Nips running Tracer out their heels. So this is going to be an interesting comp. It's going to be high aggression, high damage. But I think Dad and the Lads is set up to defend it, but they're going to need a hit scan for that Pharaoh. Uh, yeah. For sure, if they run the full pharmacy here, yeah, it's gonna be tough for them to come out and try to defend against that. Ooh, and as we're as here as we're over here naysaying them, uh, Fury gets a huge first pick on Nips. Concussion blast destabilizes the defense here, forces them off the high ground. Monkey going in deep on the back line. It's gonna go ahead and secure the kill on Chappie. Bressy goes down on the high ground. Uh, <laughs> Brig doing what she can here on the low ground. Brig counters Pharaoh, right? Uh, kind of. If you're good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, uh, any hero could counter anyone if you're good enough with it. Yo, truer words, man. Truer words. So, looks like a couple of swaps coming in for the defense here. Chappie slides off a of Hanzo over to McCree. I like that pick. And they're going to get back. So, it looks like they're actually going to be able to get back and put a body on point and stall this out. Now, this is a risky move. This is an all-or-nothing move, and it looks like it's not going to pay off for them. They're going to go down. Two epic boys get staggered in the back line. Looks like everyone's going to get long spawn on this one, and that is that is a big oof. Um, yeah, for sure. Fury still has short spawn here. He's going to try and press up, see if he can't get the kill on Second Sarge, hand. and he is going to be able to. So he's going to go ahead and take down the Mercy. That's going to be a big pick. He's gone. That should buy them enough time to all regroup now. Especially now that um, two epic boys gets to come back with the hog. Ooh, big we'll nano on flash up on the high ground. And that's a, that is an ugly monkey. And by ugly, I mean he's not happy. And furious? Furious? <laughs> you know what I mean. Help me out, chat. What, did I, what was I trying to say? All right, so you see, you see, Dad and the lads is going to set up on. Excuse me, uh, Panther Tigress is going to set up on the high ground, try and try and get this bunker strat going. Now, Monkey's been doing a phenomenal job of going up and over that bunker and just booping everyone off, making the most use of the concussion grenade. 
as possible. A few swaps here. Nips actually picks up Widow to try and counter snipe the McCree coming in for the defense. Uh, Panthera is running this pulled pork combo between Arisa and Hog very well up to this point. They're comboing really nicely together. Yeah, and it's it, it it's it's working really nicely on the front line, but it's it's not doing a whole lot against the DPS. I mean, Nips is up here on the high ground doing whatever he wants because there's no Diva or Winston for the defense to contest him. Uh, yeah. And he's going to make quick work there of Bressy. So Bressy kind of kind of left on an island there with Fat Boy. Keep wanting to call him Fat Boy Slim, but um, I I really think they're going to need somebody with some verticality, somebody that can get up here and contest uh, contest the Farah, contest the Widow on the high ground here to keep this payload from just rolling right along. A few things to talk Looks about like here. A... Everyone on the defense has ultimates in their disposal. But Monkey's been hanging on to Barrage for a hot minute. He's had it in through the entire streets phase. Looks like he's going to try and get a backdoor, uh, backdoor Barrage in. It'll be interesting to see if they're going to try to hold on to the five ults they now have, or if they're just going to waste them all on one on one team fight. Hopefully. <laughs> They'll get the right combos out here correctly, and we'll see what they can do. Hey, man, overkill is underrated, so sometimes you got to send a message. <laughs> so it's a big Death Blossom from Fury in the back, but he only gets one before he gets anti-nated, uh, and the res is going to bring that back. There's a Nano Hog. Valkyrie comes out from Sarge. Try and keep everybody topped off. Nano Whole Hog spraying damage, but uh, Dad and the Lads does a great job just completely disengaging and waiting it out. So... They've used a few already. High noon still on the on the table, still at play. And it looks like Chappie's going to try and get in a position to use it here. Nope. It's going to drop right off the high ground almost as quickly as I say it. Uh, just looking for an opportunity here. So, the bongo drum comes out, and that's a big pick on the left side. Flash gets just a little too deep. The anti-nade paired with Flashbang is going to just shut that down in its tracks. Massive hook from two yeah, epic boys. Clean up here. Just catches the Ana out of position, and those are going to be some pretty big staggers. Uh, and they need it, man. Three minutes on the clock. Only a couple of meters left to go before they close this thing out. They're just pulling out all the stops that they can try and keep this game alive. Sometimes that desperation mode brings out the best in players in Overwatch, just coming through with the, the mama mentality, as Kobe liked to say. Um, it'll be interesting to see how uh, Dad and the lads will try to come in and respond and just break through this line. Right now, with such tight spaces, the Orisa and Hog combo is working even better than it was out in the open, so I wonder what they're going to do to try to just break through this. Just yeah. This health away. I mean, you see Nips up on the high ground here, trying to get an angle on the rest of the team. It's a big Diva Bomb, drops Dollhouse Pixie. Fat Boy goes down to his to his opponent, um, Monkey looking for the Rocket Barrage, finds it, <laughs> just playing the Ground Pharaoh game, uh, catches Zappy, excuse me, oh, catches Chappy right as it comes out of the point, it. yeah. Yeah, it was just a nice combo. Uh, I mean, they had Barrage in their back pocket, and then when, as soon as the... As soon as the self destruct got that first that big pick on Ana, it was, was kind of lights out for him. So that said, they did hold pretty well. Two minutes on the clock's all they had left after just rolling right on through Street's phase. So impressive hold. Still plenty of Overwatch left to play. And I mean, we've seen teams that roll through this whole map in in way faster, right? And we've seen teams get yeah. completely held on point one with way more time. So. I think it's still very much so anyone's game. Uh, but I think they're going to need to come out with a clear game plan, and they're going to need to execute. Because Dads and Lads has been playing nearly flawlessly. I think a big problem they had there on that third point is Monkey just kind of <laughs> just held on to that barrage for <laughs> forever, man. So That's always the, the struggle when playing a DPS in Overwatch. Is you never know just when to exactly use your ult. Like you're always waiting for the highlight moment to spend it and just try to pick everyone you can. Um, it's, always, it's always weird weird with that. As an off-tank player, as a diva, I'll just crack my bomb whenever I have it. But it, it's different between each roles. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you bring up a good point. Is um, 
are you playing for are you are you playing for play of the game or are you playing for your win condition? Because using an entire barrage to drop Farah or not Farah, goodness, to drop a Mercy or drop a Zen in the back line or something along those lines is uh, is critical. It's game changing. You take those take those players off the table. You remove the possibility of a trance, but that's never going to win you play of the game, right? So it's it's just understanding yeah. what your role is. <clears throat> so coming out here, the attack looks like they're going to run. Almost full dive here. Fatboy's going to run Zen, and Sarge is on Zen. I don't think we've seen a whole lot of Zenyatta played from either team up to now. We saw it a little bit on Elios, but excited to see the little little robot monk played here. You see the Pharah coming out from Monkey on defense. Just ruthless. It's going to get... Oh, oh, big, almost a big boop. Fury almost gets booped right off the edge. Uh, doesn't, and makes Monkey pay for it. Takes him down with the headshot here. Uh... Kills starting to go the way of Panthera as they get three. Res from Dollhouse Pixie is going to bring Bressy back. So this is a five on four right here. Two supports, two tanks coming in against an almost full strength. There goes Winston Diamond on the yep. Widow now. I'm trying to get her out of place. It's a beautiful dive. Forces it, it actually gets the kill on Nips as he's trying to grapple hook away. Uh, almost gets the kill on the Sombra here, so Samba swap over from Monkey, no longer on the Pharah. Two epic boys going in on the back line. That's a big bubble to keep the Zenyatta topped off. Sarge doesn't go down um, from the, the bubble of justice, but uh, in Baby Diva form, two epic boys makes him pay for it, and he's going to go ahead and get mech back pretty quick. Oh no! <laughs> it gets hacked mid-mech call, so it's going to just completely cancel that old shatter comes out to just clean this up entirely so dad and the lads just like just when it looked like all hope was lost a couple of clutch plays a big bubble from sophia um the hack from monkey to shut down the remake and then flash with a shatter to seal the deal so impressive coordination from the team to keep their cool now coming in for the attack though they do have whole hog excuse me they do have primal rage and they do have valkyrie so they can make something work here um the defense really only has emp to speak of Oh, and Ooh. pick on the tracer. That's one DPS down already. But they do the lose their support out. in the in the in the mix. There, Haseo does go down with Nano Boost in his pocket. So, if they can engage quickly and start this fight before the Nano comes back on the table, yeah. Trance comes out from Sarge. Just tries to keep everyone topped off. Bressy playing like an absolute lunatic right now on this Winston, man. Goes in deep, gets the Zenyatta kill. Kill starting to go the way of Dad and the Lads here. They can fin finish it out. Big hack from Sombra just leaves, <laughs> leaves the Winston out in the cold here. But the team's there able to pick him up. Fury Blaze just fragging out over on the left side. Gets a triple kill. And they're going to go ahead and secure this point. first point let's see if they can keep the momentum going into the second in the street space yeah i like this aggression fury blazed not staying with the team pushing up he's got pulse grenade in his pocket so he's just looking for a target oh man doesn't quite bait out the gets the kill on zarya though i was about to say doesn't bait out the uh the bubble and misses the kill on zarya but he sticks around and seals the deal and gets out with his life so Big call here. But the watch bumpers coming into that back line now. Yeah. He's one for the big hack. It's a big blade. Or maybe not. Blade comes out from Chappie. Haseo tries for the sleep dart. It just misses. And it looks like Chappie's going to be able to go ahead and clean this up. Nips in the back line oh, on the tracer. Like yeah, he's going to go ahead and just reset. Reset with the rest of his team rather than trying to get out. Always seems like on the second, the second phases of payload maps, they you either normally get rushed through, like you just do it all in one shot, or you'll beat it at the very last second or get held. Like there's never, it's never, it never seems like there's a hold on the second point of payload maps. Oh, you're yeah, you're a hundred percent right. I mean, Which it's I... it's such a risk, right? If you try to you you try to hold, do you try to hold first point or do you uh, do you completely invest in trying to trying to uh, trying to hold it do you disengage it's it's a mess and depending on what you do there dictates whether or not you get rolled through streets phase king's row i think is a horrible uh <laughs> is yes. real bad for it right 
Oh, <laughs> no. Nip's stalling out the point when he recalls. He recalls off the payload just long enough for the payload to inch forward 0.2 meters and close out 0.2. So making their way into third point here, 3 minutes 15 seconds on the clock. Couple of ults on the defensive side. Only sound barrier, excuse me, only Valkyrie oh, and Pulse Grenade to speak of. Of course, they're getting Pikmin res right immediately afterwards. Rally comes out on the left side of your screen here. You see Sarge swapped over f to the brig for this fight from the Zenyatta. Uh, it's a huge grab. Chappie pops Blade right as the grab goes off, and he's got nowhere to go with it. Now they're going to try to pull the Tracer out as she tries to just run away for the quick regroup. Yeah, Fury's been doing an incredible job of staying alive. I mean, a lot of times a Tracer in that position just gets annihilated, but <clears throat> his survivability has really been pretty impressive so far. Uh, Flash Wolf does have Shatter in his pocket. No enemy Rhine on the other side to try and block it, so he's pretty much got free reign to do what he wants. Just got to play around that Winston bubble. <clears throat> there it is. Ressi and Fury are now down. Yeah, Trance Trance comes out from Fatboy, trying to push everything through. There's the Shatter. Tries to get the pin in and hits a box? I don't really know why that stopped. Ult's starting to come out all over the place right now from Dad and the Lads, and I think that <laughs> may be an over an investment, okay, right? If comes back, they should have... They should be winning the old economy when they yeah. come back. Monkey's about to have uh, Death Blossom, sorry. And mm -hmm. Brigitte should have Rally as well. Yeah, there's the Blossom. Yeah, and it looks like somehow Monkey gets out of that fight with his life with... He, he couldn't have had more than 10 health, right? There's no way. So, Death Blossom in the corner shuts that down. Sarge is going to go ahead and pop Rally early just to give his team as much armor as possible uh, for this next fight. A couple of swaps there. Fatboy no longer playing Zen, slides over to the Moira, already 75% to ult. Monkey gets in on the back line, takes out Bressy. Fury Blaze gets dropped by... Uh, by Sarge on the brig when he tries to get in there and pulse grenade. Uh, Bressy does get rezzed and Kate gets the kill on Monkey. Ooh. Chappie gets caught in the back line and goes down pretty quickly, though. So 5v4 on the point right now, and this is not looking good for Panthera Tigers. 30 seconds on the clock. They have to regroup now. Um, Coalescence, Valkyrie, and Self Destruct in their pocket. They've got to make something work here, or at least. Okay, Self Destruct comes out here. Oh. That is unfortunate. unfortunate. With the diva bomb catching the top lip there. Yeah, coalescence comes out, but I think Fatboy just gets a little too aggressive with it. Monkey on payload just emptying those shotguns into whatever body is closest to him, and it looks like that's going to be uh, it's going to be all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Fatboy slides over to the Lucio, tries to get back to point, but it's a little too little too late. Um, Man, that's brutal. A uh, couple of things, couple of things go yeah. go just a little differently, and Panthera pulls out that win, or at least pull, sends it into overtime. You know, that diva bomb getting hung hung up on that top <laughs> that top rack, unfortunate. Uh, Popping blade right as the grab comes out. You know, those are things you 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 literally cannot plan for. Oh, brutal. I think that's why Overwatch has attracted such a big following as it has now. It's just because every every map is winnable if just one or two things go differently. It's never a total blowout. It's just a couple things need changing, and then you could have easily have drawn that map into overtime or even won. Well, I I, I mean I, I think you I think you said it earlier. Um, or excuse me, like like you you we were talking earlier that sometimes sometimes you don't necessarily need to be the best team. You just have to have a little bit of luck, you know. Uh, a few things, a few of those things go a different way, and that's a dub in Panthera's book, right? And what you mm -hmm. were talking about earlier, where even though Dad and the Lads comes away with three wins, uh, you know, comes away with a 3-0, that's not the whole story. Panthera made them fight for it every step of the way, I think. Um, 
at least on Ilios and Route 66, absolutely. Uh, I think there was some fixes or some some comp stabilization that needed to happen in Hollywood, but Ilios and Route 66, definitely not the whole story. So, impressive games. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty excited all around to see how these two teams continue to evolve throughout the season. Uh, here in the OXC, we do like to do kind of uh, uh, MVP, so to say, for both for both myself um, and the other casters in the community. So uh, I'll let I'll let you go ahead and start, man. Sadovi, who who do you think was your was your kind of MVP of the match? Who who really impressed you the most? Um, it's it's a it's a tough choice. I think overall, Monkey's games he spent on Reaper were super impressive. Um, he knew when to use his ult, came in really good positioning for it. Um, he'd, he'd have to be my pick, although Nips, when he was playing Widow on um, Ilios, almost took it for me. He had a lot of really important picks just coming out, just popping heads left and right. Um, really, really impressive play from both of those two DPS for Daz and the Lads. But Monkey, I would say, went out just for overall consistency through each map. Yeah, I think I gotta give mine to, uh, to Brezzy from uh, from Panthera Tigris. I know they didn't didn't necessarily come away with the dub today, but there was a lot that uh, there were there was a lot of really strong gameplay that he brought that um, I mean, frankly, impressed the hell out of me. I mean, we, we saw him play DPS, we saw him play tank, we saw him play support. He's flexing around trying to make things work, and the level of aggression that he brought on the Winston here at the uh, here through Re Route 66, I think, was a game changer for him. So, big shout out to Brezzy, big shout out to Monkey. Great games, guys. Um, Stick around later tonight, a couple of hours, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to have three different matches going on at the same time in the OXC. So things are popping off on a Friday night. Uh, 9.30. Busy night. Yeah, busy night. 9.30 will be the, the final match of the evening. And then we've got a couple of games throughout the holiday weekend. So please check us out. Hit the follow. Turn on notifications so you know when we're playing. Um, Jesu, thank you for the bits, my guy. We really appreciate it. It helps the community out. helps us stay um, stay up and running, do this stuff for everybody. And if you want to get involved, please send a message to either myself, Swift63, or Sudovi. We'll get you hooked up. We'll get you loaded in. Uh, before we sign off, Sudovi, any final thoughts, my guy? Um, I would have to say the dads and the lads, they played a really strong game overall. But if I were a member of Panthera Tigris, not to get disgruntled at this point, um, you played a really strong game and you didn't make them work for it. As we had said, the scoreboard does not tell the complete story. So don't get discouraged. It's still a long season. It's still early. Um, you're sitting at one and one. So not, definitely nothing. No need to rock the boat and start getting disgruntled or tilted, so to speak. Just keep playing strong. Um, you'll win your matches and then we'll see where you're at at the end of the season. Sage advice, dude. Sage advice. So Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for sticking around. I've been Swift. With me is Sudovi. This has been the Overwatch Xbox community. Thanks for playing with us. Um, keep grinding, fam.